towards the end of his life, his acting life, Trevor escaped humiliation thanks to the tenacity and courage of Sarah Miles. Sarah and Trevor had been together in Ryan's Daughter and had formed a sort of an attachment there. She admired him greatly. She said he had a, 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 a light that transcended the black in his life. Uh, and you have to put up with the dark in, of people's souls to enjoy the brightness of the good side. Uh, and she, had, she was very much in, uh, in awe of him. Uh, and she thought he was a well-composed, calm and compassionate man. Uh, and so this attachment had been formed, and when the film broke up um, and they went their separate ways, uh, there was a certain amount of keeping in touch involved. Then, in 1987, they were cast in another film together called White Mischief. It was based upon the Happy Valley set of Kenya in the 1940s, where, which was a sort of a, a little set of very wealthy settlers who lived rather outrageous lives. Um, there was cross-dressing, there was wife-swapping, a lot of drinking. Uh, really, at a time when Britain was at war, this was a little pocket of, uh, of rather decadent people who caused quite a scandal. Uh, Sarah was cast as Alistair Jancy, who was uh, uh, one of the set, and Trevor was played a character called Jack Soames, a, uh, a white hunter and uh, expert shot. Uh, and the story basically was about the uh, scandal surrounding Jack Brofton uh, and, and he, when he killed a rival, the Earl of Hay, uh, over a jealousy. A je the, the Earl of Hay was a notorious womanizer, uh, had slept with uh, Brofton's wife. And on the surface, they were good friends, but beneath it, there was this boiling hate between them. And the Earl of Hay was murdered one night, and uh, Brofton was the chief suspect. He was subsequently uh, released. Uh, the lack of evidence. <coughs> but they were both in this film together. Trevor travelled out, had a few too many drinks on the way out, and wasn't in great condition for his first setup, which was at Nairobi Station, where he was supposed to meet uh, Brofton when he arrived with his new wife to Kenya. After sitting around for six hours in a sweltering heat and, and, uh, under a tent, uh, Trevor was in no condition to film. Uh, and the results were very disappointing as far as the director were concerned. Now, they had previously said to, to Sarah, if we, if, we, if we hire Trevor, uh, do you think he'll hold up? And Sarah said, yes, he will, providing Helen is there to look after him, and, and you know, he'll, she'll make sure that he's, he's on the ball. Well, Trevor arrived without, without Helen, Instead, in the company of a young man called David Williams, who was his sort of minder uh, and general factotum. Uh, and it was while David had been having a 40 winks in, on the plane out that Trevor had sort of consumed too much alcohol. The uh, director rounded on Sarah in the hotel in Nairobi and said, Sarah, you said he'd be all right, and he's, he's, he's awful. We've got to fire him. We've got to send him back to England. He, we haven't got the money to waste while he dries out every day. And Sarah said, well, you asked me if he would deliver, and I said he would. He's the most professional actor I know. But there were conditions. Obviously, he was left to his own devices, and his health isn't in great condition. He will uh, inevitably <coughs> cause trouble. But I believe he's fit and well enough to complete this particular role. Don't please fire him. It will be... a humiliating for him. It's never happened in his life before. It's a sour note on which to bring to a close an outstanding career. They said, we listen to what you say, Sarah, but we're sorry. We, you know, he's got to go. And that's our decision. And if I were you, I would butt out and look after your own career. Well, Sarah points out that looking after her own career is only part of what she does. She went to see Trevor, who was having a nap in his hotel room. She closed the door behind herself. She said, Trevor, we are in trouble. Oh, he said. She said, they don't think you're up to it, and I've told them you are. Oh, he said, it's like that. They're going to sack me. She said, not yet. Do you remember when we were in Belgrade and you did that promoting Ryan's daughter and you did that wonderful swallow dive off the high board? Trevor was an accomplished swimmer. 
Yes, he said. She said, do it again. Can't. Trevor, do it again. Because if you don't, you're in trouble. I'll stick up for you. I'll be in trouble. For us both, please, do it again. Oh, all right. She said, right, put on a pair of trunks. Let's go down to the pool now. They are sitting around the pool. Let's give them a show. Trevor put on this rather gaudy pair of sort of, uh, of trunks uh, and under Sarah's direction, climbed up to the top board. She stood in the water and said, right, Trevor, go. Well, he did his swallowtail. Wasn't as perfect as it had been in Belgrade some years before. But he landed cleanly in the water and uh, the executives looked up. Trevor surfaced, spitting water out of his mouth. Sarah said, right, we haven't finished, Trevor. Swim between my legs, show them what you can do. Sarah stood with her legs apart. Trevor disappeared through them, traceable through these gaudy trunks that could be seen below the water line. And again, commanded Sarah. Trevor splashed around and got through them again. Sarah then got out of the pool, walked over to the executive shed. Do you think a man who can do that can't play a small part in a film? And marched off. Trevor never received his marching orders. And he stayed on to, to complete the film. The film, from, from his point of view, was really his swan song. Uh, and he looked a spent force, certainly. But Sarah had, quite, quite courageously, uh, stuck up for her old buddy from Ryan's daughter and had got the decision to kick him back to England out of the picture reversed. And uh, when she was telling me this, there was her little eyes were sparkling. You could see that she was, she was very pleased with what she had done. Uh, she's a very compassionate human being. And, and making sure that Trevor's uh, professional record remained intact was a matter of great joy to her.